about that guys, a little bit of a delay there. Okay, so I'm going to get started. Uh, for anybody that doesn't know us, um, Andy was a project manager when we first joined and I was a learning consultant that had just been made redundant. As you can see here, we've got four beautiful children and we had a very little granddaughter when we just joined. So we joined the focus group actually in September of 2006. So it's nearly 12 years, <laughs> not six years. Um, it, time really does fly in the business. And it was an online ad that we applied. It said, work from home and be your own boss. And I thought, ooh, that sounds really interesting. So um, I'd been in a job that I'd loved. And unfortunately, what had happened is they'd told me that I'd got a job to go back to. And then three days before I started, I got my P45 in the post. So a bit of a shock and, you know, lost quite a major income coming into the house. So when we uh, had Mike and Jean come and explain the business to us, we I immediately thought this is something that we can do while I try and find another job it will give us that survival money that we needed and so you know we signed the dotted line our catalogs arrived um, you know 200 of the catalogs and we put a plan together and we just got stuck in um, we needed a minimum of 500 pound a month that was just to put food on the table feed the kids you know it's pretty desperate and we were absolutely delighted with that £526.93 because I think one thing in this business that, you know, a check, the first check is always the, the, you know, your special check. And that for me gave me massive, massive belief that this business works. And from there, you know, we ha really, I guess, haven't looked back. Um, don't remember to click the right button here. So next slide. So just a little bit about what Clean Easy has given us so far. I mean, ooh, going funny. Oh, I'm rubbish with technology. Oh, we have a uh, beautiful home and As you can see, we were very lucky um, sort of five years ago to extend a four bedroom detached property into a seven bedroom detached property. Um, we wanted to make space for the family. So we had a games room and a gym and things um, and bedrooms extended there. Um, and, you know, one of the things that the business has given us that great income producing asset. Uh, we've got a customer base that we built and, you know, we built that you know mainly about 10 you know 12 years ago really over the last years we've built and built our customer base but the last five years that retail has averaged about four thousand pound a period so that is an average income on its own of about 1400 pound and that's what i love about this business you can take that um personal responsibility i guess for the income that you want and you know you don't have to rely on anybody for your income um, our highest income, though, because we have gone on to build a team, is £4,769. And, you know, it's not one of the biggest checks in the business by all means. But for us, this business has given us one thing, and that is the time freedom to see our family grow up. Now, I always get a bit emotional. I'm a very emotional person, but especially when I'm talking about my family, because I think, you know, one thing that you can never get, one thing money will never pay for is those magical moments with your children. I'll move on. Um, but, you know, on top of that, like Fiona said, we've had all of those travel rewards and, you know, we didn't join the business to travel the world. However, you know, we have qualified for all these amazing trips. We've been all around the, the world five star all inclusive and on top of that you know we've been able to take the children to disneyland paris we had a wonderful trip to lapland with them we've qualified for many trips with the uh, focus group and the vista group um, to mercia paris uh, granada 
uh, Alicante, we're off to uh, Cartagena this year with the Vista Group. So, you know, it, it is amazing actually what you can achieve with this business and the rewards that are on offer if you are prepared to put the work in. But what I'm going to do tonight's training really, I'm just going to go back a little bit um, to 2014 and you know businesses go up and down and you know our business at this point had flatlined a little bit. Um, I mentally wasn't in a good place for a number of personal challenges and I did share some of that at the Dublin seminar and at the rally. I told my story about when I found Thrive uh, with Rob Kelly. One amazing book and Pat, my Thrive consultant, that truly changed my life. And at that point, you know, I was ready to quit. I felt like it just wasn't working for us. We'd had a few people and it was going up and it was going down. And we were like on this roller coaster and we just couldn't seem to find enough people. And I guess we were trying to look for the right people, the ones who would come and commit and come to all the meetings and, and have the skills and the time. and that they do the 10 face to face face appointments that was required every week. Um, you know, I think if things are not working and going as fast as you want, you really just have to have faith in the mm -hmm. system and just never quit on this business because really you just never know what's around the corner. And I'm so glad at that point that when I stood in that storm and the wind didn't blow on my sails, you know, I adjusted those sails. Um, it, it was that point in time when I decided to thrive and pick myself up uh, stronger and more determined to put what I knew into action. Um, so things, interestingly, that year were changing a lot in Clean Easy. There was, I guess, a lot of uncertainty. Um, there were a load of new pioneers leading the way with online selling, Facebook, uh, K Life at that point was introduced to the business, and you know, suddenly we had uh, the old way, if you like, and the new way. And uh, you know, thank God for us, we had Chris and Claire that had joined our business, and they'd totally got this grasped with both hands. They led the way, uh, we actively encouraged them to go and get the support that they needed from the wider network and those that were leading the way, you know, and I'd like to say a massive thank you to the likes of Jackie and Stephen McCormack and Jennifer Sinnott and, you know, I know Andy Boswell has left now, but he did pioneer the online selling for us and I'll be forever grateful for that. Um, I didn't know and I couldn't help them, but you know, in the business, there's always, always somebody that can help you. And that's one of the things that I really do love about this business. We spent time uh, on road trips up and down the country to meetings and we would discuss at length all the new ideas and how it could work. And, you know, I, I am a self-confessed perfectionist. I tend to need to know everything first, but Fortunately for us, we've got Claire, who's absolutely amazing. She's that kind of just do it kind of girl, and she just gets on. So, you know, I can remember being really quite confused at that time and not sure, um, do we stay with what we know? Do we go with the old way? Do we go with the new way? And I think since then, I've learned that confusion is the first step to gaining clarity and one of the most dangerous phases, phrases that we can ever use is, you know, we've always done it this way. There's a the likes of Blockbuster, isn't it, now that's gone just because they didn't have the vision to make some changes. And I truly do believe that we need to embrace change and we all need to challenge our ideas. Things do evolve um, all the time and we either move with the times or we get left behind. Um, we might not always get it right. It's been a little bit of trial and error and, you know, it's through that trial and error that we learn and um, I now believe that thank you to so many people that we do have an amazing enhanced system. We have the experience from the past if you like with loads and loads of fresh ideas of the way things work. My advice is always, you know, keep it simple. Um, uh, you know, we don't overwhelm people with too much. Um, you know, when they first start in the business, they don't need to know everything on day one. They don't need to know how to put an order on the system. They just need to know how to go and get that first sale. So 
the team the team came together and we came up with a basis for a step to step process for the online that people could duplicate and what we do is you know we um we expose people through the retail and rather than overwhelming them we would start them maybe with online selling and you know we start them to understand also understanding that with online selling you can't always get people straight away doing a thousand pound a period in their first period because obviously they'd get a ban with the facebook so it's learning all of those things really um but you know what we do is we get involved them with the daily team chats, the support groups that we've got, the the one to ones, the competitions, the the Zoom meetings that we do, um, where we've got inductions and all of those things that support people with monthly meetings as well. And eventually, over the time, when the time's right for them, we'll upgrade them to doing both. So you know we have all them amazing welcome rewards where people get all of those free catalogs so if they do start online we can involve them in understanding the benefits of doing the catalogs and you know breaking it down then into we've got a great competition thanks to claire um who can sell 35 pounds a day gets them a ticket in the drawer and it's encouraging people to take those tiny steps and aim themselves for the thousand club um, we strip back the recruiting system right back to basics, a system where anybody could do it. And, you know, people were bringing people in, in, you know, in the numbers were just increasing. But so we start our recruiting with, you know, basic Facebook chats, but then we do the training through our sponsor workshops in and in our, again, in the daily team chats and the support groups. And ultimately we get people to a stage where they do get confidence you know with practice and go on to do uh, recruiting on the phone and face to face so we we know that our system is our map and really it is up to us you know the team was starting to grow at great rates for us and one of my biggest concerns at that point was you know making sure nobody was thrown into that dark hole you know we've got so many tools that we can use to ensure that people are supported and that you know everyone in our team and i'm going to come on to explain some of that later but there's never a need to you know for nobody to get support in this business because you know them loving this together stronger and it certainly is the case with this business that we can all help one another and i absolutely love that and um, you know Clean Easy is a gold mine. Um, nothing has changed with this. You need to know just how to get to that gold. You just need the tools. And um, we always say, you know, start with a goal, make a plan, prioritize the tasks, take the action, get some coaching and feedback to sharpen your tools, reach for your goal, you know, do whatever it takes and celebrate your success, your success along the journey. You know, whilst you're doing that, maintain a positive mental attitude by plugging into your personal development. And really, it's as simple as that. So this business starts with you as a retail distributor. And I'm just going to go through a little bit on the circle. So let's just imagine this is you and you're doing a thousand pounds worth of sales in the four week period. And just for sanity, I'm going to do it in pounds. I know we work in euros as well. And I'm just going to do it based on the clean, easy sales. Obviously, we all know that uh, clean, easy. Uh, products have the maximum retail profit of 20%. We know K-Life has 15% apart from our star buys that's 20% and the internet specials with the 10%. So in this case, you're going to get a personal retail profit, that cash in your pocket, if you like, £207. You qualify now for a 10% bonus, so your personal retail bonus that gets popped into your bank is £63. Total earning £270. Now, that's what most people are looking for. They're looking for that extra £50 a week, and that really can be life changing. But if you want more, it's quite simple in this business. You just do more. Just like we did, we wanted £500, so that meant that we personally had to retail £1,800 
in our first period and you know that is dead achievable um getting used to doing these slides and then you know this business builds with people you become a team builder and you can retail yourself a thousand pounds and and then you're going to introduce introduce two friends who do 500 pounds so what happens is all that gets added together your turnover now is two thousand pound and instead of that 10 percent bonus now you're going to get a 13 percent bonus so you're still going to get that 207 pound cash in your pocket you're going to get a slightly bigger bonus now on them personal sales which is 81 pound um you're also going to get a team bonus at this point which is really exciting because clean easy reward us for introducing people to our team so an 81 pound bonus which is 13 percent of both of those 500 pounds you can see there they've not quite hit bonus so they're very new and you know we're going to need to work with those people so we've got a total income now of 369 pounds so we've just give ourselves a little pay rise of 81 pounds for sharing this great opportunity with other people and then it continues to grow so you know let's just imagine now you've introduced those two friends you've got three more people that have joined your business let's just say they're all doing 500 pounds for the time being total turnover now is 3500 pounds and you'd get a 15 percent bonus now so you know you're moving up the more volume your business does the more of a bonus that you get from the company which again is great love incentives um, so you're going to get that £207 cash in your pocket, doesn't change. This time, £93 bonus into your bank on your personal sales. Team bonus has gone up to £235 in total. You've practically doubled your income now, £536. Now, at this stage, it might seem the best way to earn your money is to bring people in and don't forget, let them get a bonus. However, this business we are we have three income producing um activities so it continues to build when you coach people to bonus so let's imagine now you've helped all of these people get to their bonus the total turnover in this business now is 6,120. You're now going to get a bigger bonus because they've all done more. So you've got a 21% bonus, still getting that £207 cash in your pocket. You've got personal retail bonus now moved up to £131 and a team bonus of £353, which is £691. You've paid yourself an additional £155 so you know it absolutely pays to coach and support your team and you know if you don't know if you're brand new plug people into the training you know just get on the phone support them and if you don't know use your upline and let the experts help you because there's so many people it's a lovely sharing caring business where everybody wants everybody to do really well so then it continues to build uh, when you coach but also you might start getting what we call some duplication where some people start copying you you know they want a little bit of what you've got so this instance you're still going to get paid the same because these new people i don't know whether the mouse works on here but these new people haven't done a thousand pounds on their own they've done 500 personal sales but then they've brought two people in here that have done 250 pound each that still is a thousand pounds worth of sales volume through your business so you know you're going to build through coaching you're going to build through duplication as well and ultimately the goal you build to gold now in an ideal world you would continue to do your thousand pounds worth of sales and you teach these eight people to do the same now this business is a numbers game and um, so you know to find eight people to all do a thousand pound you're probably going to need to recruit I would say around 40 to 50 people depending on how good you are at coaching so 
you know, I think it's Jean Day that used to say to me all the time, you find good people, the golden stardust, but you have to sift through the gravel. You know, it, it, if you tight sign in four people in a period, you've got to think it could take about 10 months to get to here. So if you want to do this quicker, then obviously just do more. Now, with a goal business that is like this, you know, this is going to give you the maximum income on a goal business unless you did more personal retail. We're still going to get that £207 retail profit. We're going to get a 24% bonus. So this is the maximum bonus now, £150. But you've also got a team bonus of 702 and a total income there of £1,000 and 59 pound which really equates to a full-time income for what most people do you know and i would really say probably at this stage it's not going to be full-time work and you know what we have to look at is that there are more than one ways to go to gold uh, to go to gold your goal with the business is 750 bonus points so like it says here Six plus three equals nine, but so does five plus four. The way that we do things and not always, you know, the, the way you do things and is not always the way to do them. So we have to respect other people's ways of thinking. And we built our business mainly on face-to-face -face appointments. I know some of the other groups did information packs. At the end of the day, we still built our businesses. Um, we built our customer base with tomorrow slips in the catalogs. Um, some people leave the catalogs longer, but ultimately we've all built customer bases. And, and we know, I'm not going to talk about specifics of systems because we know that across the groups, we've all got slightly different systems. So I would always advise you to speak to your sponsor in your upline for their advice. But one thing I would say is when obstacles arise, and change your direction to achieve your goal then don't change your decision to get there find a way to make it happen don't wait for that perfect moment um, it may never come don't wait uh, hoping that next person that you sponsor might just be the next superstar that's going to make it happen if you want to make this happen it is up to you and I'm just going to give you an example here of a goal business in our business that happened in our business. And this, um, you know, the business is absolutely full of surprises. You never know who's going to join your business tomorrow. This was Gareth. He joined and went gold within 12 weeks of joining the business. And we've never had anybody go, go, go gold so quick or known anybody go, so, go gold so quick. Sorry, I'm getting tongue tied. Um, this, he joined. He plugged in, he got his retail plan off the ground, his wife was pregnant, he wanted to get married, he had a big reason why, and he started to team build. Then he found Andy. Oop, sorry, keep catching the button. Um, now, Andy, he didn't want to team build, he just wanted a full time income, you know, a thousand pounds, but he wanted to retail. So he came in and he retailed himself to 18% earning himself about 1200 quid so this all together meant that it pushed um, Gareth's business to gold quite quickly but one of the fantastic things is that you know he still got his 207 pound from his retail profit he still got maximum bonus on his personal sales he still got a team bonus of 506 pound and a nice 918 pound towards his wedding and he also went on to qualify for Hong Kong, which is just amazing. This is another of our gold businesses, Harriet and Alistair. You know, they work full time. They have lovely baby Alice. Um, Harriet is a recruitment consultant, so she used her skills with recruiting. They joined, I think it was around August 2016, so very, very new in the business. And they went gold in March of 2017, so six to seven months to go gold. Now, this is Harriet and Alistair's business. As you can see, they brought in lots and lots of people. Some of these are very, very new when they're just getting started, and then some are getting more established. We've got somebody here in the 10%. We've got a lady here that has started... Uh, with a little team and a little bit of duplication, she's got a 13% and a 10%. 
and then we've got a 15% here from all of this duplication that's going on. And this business here, Harriet and Alistair um, did themselves £217 worth of sales. So their retail profit was £29. Their retail bonus was £32, but their team bonus was £699. So a total income of 760 quid on top of two full-time incomes, you know, isn't half bad, is it? And, you know, what happened is, in actual fact, Harriet and Alistair uh, made Kirby and Ian and Samantha default goals in our business. This is something that we've not heard of before. But because of the way that they were in the business, the depth, it actually pushed these to default goals. Now, Kirby and Ian and Samantha, uh, because the business rewards us fairly financially for our effort, then they didn't earn anywhere near as much as what Harriet and Alistair did, because obviously they'd done the lion's share, if you like. But since then, Harriet and Alistair have plugged into all the training. They've practiced through the numbers which is definitely the best way of learning. They've developed the skills, their understanding of the pay plan, their circumstances have changed, and now Alistair has come out of work, he's lost his job. So they've gone on now to double their income, the highest income check, £1,400, qualified for the 10 Active Wide, qualified for Directors Club, qualified for Crack Off, and they were a gnat's whisker off getting on Vegas. Um, and so now, now they've got a really strong business and we're really, really so excited where they're going to take their business, you know, this year. But sometimes you've just got to start somewhere. And am I saying don't teach £10,000 retail and plus eight people doing the same? Absolutely not. Just sometimes things don't always go to plan. So and sometimes we've just got to think out the box and do whatever it takes to make sure that we achieve our goal. So within this business, I think what we have to do is we have to realise that it's all of us that makes any of us successful. Um, you know, you have to look after that gold dust. Each golden nugget is made up of all of that gold dust, all of those individuals within a golden business. It's everybody that matters. You know, you never know when some people in your business are going to have that light bulb moment. You never know when the circumstances are going to change. You never know when a person's reason why will change either. So, you know, th this business, it is about being stronger together. In some ways, Harriet and Alistair's business is stronger. There's always safety in numbers. Excuse me. Um, you know, and the numbers will always sort themselves out. Some will come and lead straight away. Some will come and do a little bit. Some will come and they'll stay and they'll go on to be your steady eddies. You just have to understand it is a bit of a numbers game. Um, another saying is, you know, as well uh, by Jim Rowan, what you lack in skill, make up in numbers. You know, if, if um, you know, you, you want to practice your coaching skills, go through the numbers. Um, go through that practicing because that is the fastest way to develop the skills. Now, it might not be the person that you sponsor just in that business. You know, Harry, um, Samantha and Kirby and um, Harriet and Alistair are under Rachel and James Folger in our business. Absolutely fantastic sponsors. Now, Rachel and James made sure that they looked after everybody in their team. They're so passionate and so caring, which is why they've achieved so much in such a short period of time, because people lead you to people. So you must make sure that you simply value everybody that's in your business. You know, build relationships with everybody, help everybody, because really you don't know where your next golden nugget's going to come from. And, you know, there was quite a significant event um, in our business. Um, and I really can never thank Peter and Jackie enough um, for when they give us the distributor of the year in 2015. Oh, getting a little bit emotional, sorry. 
Um, you know, I have deeply ingrained in my philosophy, I guess, a passion for recognition. I strongly believe that in order to succeed, that you first must believe that we can. And I'm being told that you are appreciated is one of the simplest yet most incredible things that you could ever, ever hear. Um, and I can never absolutely thank Peter and Jackie for that. Um, you know, we have an awesome team synergy within our group where we value everybody's contribution, we treat everybody with respect, we recognize individuals for their contribution and, you know, it like it says here, I don't know whether you can read it, but remember this each individual is a single note and together we create a masterpiece and we do, it's about us all working together. You see, when Sam, that lady that I just showed you in the circles, went to default gold, we recognised her for going default gold just as much as we recognised Alistair. Because, you know, we recognised her for the strength and the determination. You see, she joined the business and within just a couple of weeks, she'd lost her dad. In the same month, Sam lost three other very close family members, a nan, an aunt, and I think it was a nephew. But just before that happened, she'd introduced Kirby to the business, that had then introduced Harriet and Alistair. And I'm sure I'm not the only one in this business that will be forever grateful to her. You know, like I said before, people do find people. Harriet and Alistair, of course, were recognised for their hard work because, after all, they did the lion's share. Um, in effect, they pushed the others to gold, and that's why the class was default gold. So for me, it's really important that we have a team culture that recognises this. Um, every week, we have our um, part of our end of week review. The team share their successes. They share their, um, I don't know whether you can see here, but I've got Sarah sharing team, I um, can't even read it on here, Team Precious, I think they're called. They've all got their own little team names, um, Dream Team with Harriet and Alistair, Team Titanium, we've got Team Kinsella, Team Pemberton, Team Farry, everybody puts in their posts at the end of the week. And what they do is they share the team's success. They share top 10 retailers, top 10 recruiters, top 10 team. And I think it's really about each one of them being proud of their team's achievements. And it creates competition. Um, it's something for people to aim for. But it also creates belief in what's possible in this business. So new people seeing these posts believe what's happening, they can see what's going on and they want a part of that as well. They want to get in and be in the top 10. So it's really, really one of the things that I do believe has, has created massive momentum within the group. And I just absolutely love a Friday where we see all the team um, shouting out all of their team's success. Another thing that we do, uh, we have team shout out. So it's recognition for the smallest of things, you know, builds, uh, and I believe this is building uh, confidence, the self-esteem, um, and that belief, um, sharing the team's successes as in first orders, the welcome rewards, the, the bonus certificates, um, the little things, you know, just great work, well done. Um, the one that we did here with the Vista group, that, that actually had, I think, something like 170-odd comments on there where everybody was just sharing the love for the buddies. And, you know, I just think it's incredible because people love seeing their names and actually, you know, they like to think, well, actually, somebody thinks I'm doing really well and somebody's recognizing me for that. And I do believe a person that's appreciated will always do more than what's expected. That is just simply a fact. Oh. Next slide. Okay, so so some reasons why we recognise, I think it gives right, a personal satisfaction, a pride, which in turn increases motivation. Um, it enforces a positive working culture where everybody respects one another. People love seeing their names and it makes them feel special. It makes them feel valued. It makes them feel a part of something bigger and in turn, it improves attitudes, it builds belief, which then improves self-esteem 
and encourages teamwork because as we all know in this business teamwork makes the dream work my team are probably fed up of hearing me say that <laughs> but it's so true um, we have to understand though that people join this business they join for their own reason, their reason why, and it could be extra income, flexibility, work from home, be their own boss, the social side, a pension, financial freedom. Some people join for a season, you know, um, people come and they go, but the right ones will stay. Some come for a year or two, you know, we've had people that have come and gone, even got to gold and, and left the business because they've got what they've wanted from the business and then they've moved on. And you know what then there's the lifers <laughs> those that are in it for life um but what i would say is you know don't judge anybody by the choices without understanding their reason why don't assume anything about anybody learn the facts build relationships with your team so that they can trust you so that you can work together so that you can get them achieving their goals because we know in this business that if you help enough people to achieve what they want, then you will get what you want. And for most people, it's only when the time is right and when circumstances prevail and when they're ready, they will take this business by storm. You can only take a horse to water, but you can't make it drink. So please don't ever force anybody to do anything that they don't want to in the business. Certainly not for you. You know, you it's up to you to take responsibility for what you want. Now, when we started recruiting across the UK and uh, Ireland, we developed a resources site uh, simply at that time for the cataloging system, um, training them on five easy steps how to do it. And it's been a massive tool in training and supporting not just our front front line, but our downline and we do it step by step because, you know, we have to do everything in bite-sized chunks in this business. Some people will take them bite-sized chunks quicker and some won't. But, you know, it's like it says here, how do you eat an elephant? Well, you eat it one bite at a time. So it's never, ever going to beat, obviously, getting out in the trenches and working one-to-one. -one. It's never, ever going to rule out those one-to-one -one coaching calls. But... You know, it really has helped have that visual uh, learning, you know, the auditory stuff on there for the auditory learners. And we just wanted to ensure that everybody in our team has access to training, the system, and that everybody has the tracks to run on. There are inductions using webinars and Zooms. And it's about working with people at their level at a speed that's right for them. You know, you've probably heard it before, but we run with the runners, we walk with the walkers, and we plod with the plodders. It's a matter of consistency at their level, and small steps will always take a person in the right direction towards their destination. I think the key to creating freedom in your business is going for gold. The pay plan is structured all around going for gold. Go gold yourself, then develop golds in your team. Um, it's having that simple system, just like Rob Foster reminded us at the conference, and then creating the duplication, because we know that duplication is essential to success. The key to creating a quick income, however, you know, if you need money quick, um, go for massive retail sales or go for massive PSG. I know Stuart and Robin Hood led the way with massive income, building such a big PSG, and that's personal sales group for anybody that's new and doesn't understand that. My hat goes off to them, you know, their dogged determination and work ethic to achieve that was second to none. But you know, it's your business, so you have to make sure that you keep that right balance for you. Personally, we do three to four thousand pound personal retail. We take responsibility for our own income, and that way we're not relying on anybody. Most people will do that thousand pounds personally, um, but I know there's people in this business that have built a massive business, won cars, trips, built a massive team, and do very little retail. Personally, I think you should lead the way, um, but Andy, you know, works full time on the business and he has the time to go and do that. 
there are others in your business that work full time, they have a job and they're juggling with the time. So make sure that the plan is right for you. We're cons constantly building and loading and juggling with the business. You've got to have a plan that works for you and works with the strengths that you have. You know, all these people in our business love this quote that Claire shared at Dublin. They are our volunteer army. You know, it's up to us to guide and support them. We act as that signpost, but we're not a boss. Um, there are different paths to success and ultimately the choice is yours. Sometimes you may not get it right the first time, but don't they say failure leads to success? And often we have to let people take the path that they want. We have to let them learn. We have to let people sometimes fail, you know, because that's the way that they own their own success. It's just like a baby learning to walk. They fall over many times, but they keep on getting back up and you keep picking them up and encouraging them just to start again, just like Jackie did with me. And what you have to do in the business has to fit with your beliefs and your own success. My vision um, is to have a high performing team. Um, our mission with that is to support and help thousands of people change their lives and create a better future for themselves. To provide timely training and to support that is relevant to individuals and to develop leaders of the future. My values is to empower people by in making them, allowing them to make informed decisions, to understand individual circumstances, and to ensure each team member is valued, everyone is valued who contributes, and to recognize individual achievements, to be open to new ideas, embrace change, and work with our strengths and develop our other areas. In 2016 and 2017, myself and Andy set our two biggest goals to have a high performing team that are highly focused on their goals and are achieving outstanding business results. Our second goal was to create on-demand training to help and support our team. I believe that you don't build a business, you build people and then it's the people that build the business. I absolutely love this business and you know it is all about using those tools to find your gold it's all about getting the training that you need this business like I said it's like sipping through the gravel to find the golden nuggets you've got to get the right tools for the job and you've got to plug into all the training that you can we know the more that you learn the more you earn Facebook and social media has meant that we can cover more ground and expose ourselves to a larger area. But when new things come along, you have to go and speak to the experts. Pam Kent, the Facebook guru, well deservedly Vision Group Distributor of the Year, has shared so much advice and helped so many people in this business. Jackie McCormack, the queen of Facebook live selling, you know. She's been brilliant and she was a guest speaker on one of our Zooms, come and shared some tips with the team, getting them all to start their Facebook Live. So thank you to Jackie and to Pam for all your help and your support that you give us. But you've got to use the skills and the knowledge in your team. Bloody hell, Chris and Claire are experts in the system and coaching their team to goals. You've got to keep learning. You've got to be open to new ideas. You know, they could transform your business. So don't be frightened to try new things. Don't go changing everything all in one go. But, you know, just sometimes it's a matter of thinking outside the box. There are so many more tools now to use to build your business. We've got the Zooms, the website, the Facebook. You know, they're a massive enhancement to an awesome system. I love training and coaching. I love sharing. Uh, that's one of my passions and I guess my background. It helps me to make sense of my learning. As we know, we can read about something and we can take 10% of that information in. Or we can teach it and it actually allows us to learn 95% more. It's all about accelerating learning. 
it gives the team an opportunity to access training anytime anywhere on demand we've got on-demand TV now so why not have on-demand training our trainings are videoed and they're put into our group and on, on our website um, we've got all of our weekly recognition testimonials book reviews top tips inductions sponsor workshops and our 10 pillars training we reach out to everybody in our team you know We've been going along to key meetings for 10 years and there is nothing that will ever, ever replace meetings. However, things have changed and there are so many more tools available to us. When we looked at our business and we expanded, you know, across the UK and Ireland, we found that less than 1% of our team was attending these meetings and it was only ever once every four weeks. It was taking months and years sometimes for people to get the training and put all the pieces of the jigsaw puzzle together. For me, on-demand training is getting information out to your team. With global expansion on the way, we need to be ready. We need to be getting prepared with the skills and gaining the knowledge right now. You know, some will get involved, some won't. So what? It's the ones that we can help, you know? We're building an amazing team team synergy on Zoom and we actually incredibly have more people than ever go into meetings and I find that quite bizarre but I really believe that it's because people feel so much more comfortable now they've got that trust they already know everybody and it's a great way of building your team synergy everybody feels a part of something regardless of where they are in the team and where they live you know, ensuring people get access to support and training, especially if they're new and they have a new team member. It's sometimes like the blind lead in the blind. No one has no one has to miss out, you know, if they work and they can't watch it, they can watch it back later. We've just got such a massive resource now of training available to the team. So if they're stuck with anything, we can tag them in and they can watch the training. Now, it also helps us to share the workload because true teamwork, it's everybody working together. We're all involved, sharing ideas and learning from one another. For me, Zoom's the rapid results generator. It's created a cohesion of understanding our system. It's great for spotting leaders and it's a great way to develop individual skills and knowledge. Facebook has been amazing too, you know, all the things that we've got in place where everybody can access that information and even when we're not there ourselves, there's somebody there to support everybody. This business, you know, together we are stronger. Alone we can do so little, together we can do so much more. We have to surround ourselves with the people that are going to lift us higher. Um, we've, we've been learning from others in the network and we've been attending live events and never missing showcases, the rallies and our own meetings. And we're having the opportunity, really excited to be working with Eamon Marie over in Ireland, very, very well respected leaders in the business. Um, by the way, they've got a meeting on the 4th of March at the Spa Hotel in Lucan, hope I pronounced that okay, uh, starting at 12 for 12.30. So let's get together, let's support one another, let's learn together. And thank you from the bottom of my heart for everybody's support, encouragement and willingness to share. There is no doubt um, we have an amazing team. You know, some people might think, well, you're just lucky, you found Chris and Claire. Anybody that knows me will know, I don't believe in luck. I truly believe that our paths have crossed for a reason. And I can tell you, I can't even begin to tell you how much this couple inspire me. Ooh, and how much we've learned from them. They are absolutely amazing leaders that are so well respected in the network. I believe our, I believe that our beliefs are created by the evidence around us. We have seen massive growth through a simple system, through the numbers, through a great team synergy, and everyone supporting and encouraging one another with a sharing, caring philosophy.
I just want to share with you some results from the past three years. As we know, there's been some very nasty people out there saying that Clean Easy doesn't work. Well, it doesn't work if you don't follow your plan and you don't take action. We have seen the last three years as the business has grown consistently. We have more goals than ever before. We have more team members on trips. We have more people moving up the sales plan. More people than ever joining through more people than ever recruiting and some of our biggest checks. We've had so much achievement through trips, people directors club, trophy winners, car winners and 10k check winners and really I'd love to go through all of this but there really isn't enough time. There's so much achievement and so much success in the group it's just absolutely unbelievable. For me, the greatest success we'll know is helping others to succeed and grow. Seeing so many of the team up on stage getting recognised gets me so emotional. Sorry, <laughs> I do get quite emotional with the team. All of our golden babies, seniors, bronze, silver executives that have developed and grown over the time. And you know, just knowing that we've had a tiny part in that makes my life worth living. Everybody's achieving their success. Sorry. <laughs> so passionate about this team of ours. <laughs> um, you know, their well-deserved success through their hard work and commitment to help one another is just absolutely amazing. Network marketing is about, it, you know, it's not about you. It's about what you can do to help others achieve. And it's about helping people to get what they want. Ultimately, you'll end up with what you deserve and desire to. We're so excited now for 2018. We have some massive, massive goals. And there is a potential for 15 new goals this year in our business. So much sales plan progression. Personally, we've just signed up. Um, or I think we're on our ninth this period. But we've got so many great leaders coming through, duplicating our awesome leaders. We already have Bev and Paul. They just outstand me. This period, following a major operation, Bev's recruited nine new team members from her recovery bed and continued to support her existing team. I do believe today she's hit her 18% bonus. So well done, Bev and Paul. Joe Warman, the recruiting machine. This period, 24 new team members. She's a woman on a mission, going for gold. Go, Joe, make it happen. Oh, I shouldn't mention names because I get dead upset. <laughs> Kira Russell came to Birmingham. She had her light bulb moment. It's amazing when you get people along to conferences what it does. This lady's just got amazing people skills and she's truly back on it. We've got Sarah, her story on last week's Zoom. Well, one lady, pure determination. She today has got her first foot on the tarmac for Go18. She's already gone 18% for the first time in the business. You know, come on, Sarah, you can do this. We've got Kirsty, Jane, Jay, Lead, and oh my God, there's so many more in the business that are growing so fast. I don't even know half of the names, so how flipping exciting is that? There's 260 new team members that have joined our business this year. This business is thriving. I'm working with Pat, my Thrive consultant, who's going to be providing some training for our team you know what they say use the experts that you know my ambition one day will be to become a thrive consultant i really think that it will have a massive impact on the clean easy business and it's something that i'm extremely passionate about we are stronger together the company is back on track i feel so passionate about the together stronger there are so many of you in the network that have contributed to the inspiration, the encouragement, the recognition, the, the pioneers, the people here and the ones that have gone. Life's a journey about the impact that we make on one another's lives. We all have our own story. We all have our own reason why. 
but together we are stronger. Let's go build our empire. It's exciting times ahead. Thank you. Sorry for getting a little bit emotional there. It's been oh, one of them days. I'll turn this off now.